Yeah. Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Business Bros. It's hard to do online because, yeah, we're, we're all just like a half second delay. So uh, I'm, I, I'm having the privilege of having Robert Wykill back on the show, EXP dominating the industry with not only the uh, awesomeness of the brokerage model itself, but on top of that, Robert's also doing his 14-day uh, auction. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to let Robert tell you a little bit about that. And uh, we're going to be specifically talking about starting a podcast today because Robert's going to be starting a podcast. If you can see on his screen when he starts talking, he's got a mic. Woo! All right. All right, Robert. Bros. Business bros. All right, Robert, tell me a little bit about what you're doing out there. What, what was these, uh, this training you had? You had this lunch and learn. What goes on over there? Well, we did a lunch and learn today up in uh, uh, Carlsbad, and uh, basically it's it's just really simple. Um, just let's just use uh, for sale by owners as an, as an example. The for sale by owner, just about every sale by owner doesn't want to list with us because they don't want to pay a commission. Mm -hmm. They would love to get our services, but they don't want to pay a full commission. And it's fairly difficult if you're going to offer two and a half percent to a a buyer agent, and that's all the for sale by owner is going to pay. Well, it's difficult for a listing agent to take that listing unless you convince them otherwise to list with a commission. So what a 14-day auction is, is, is we, that's our 14-day window period. We list it on a Monday. We list their home for a 2.5% listing, and then we do what's called a buyer premium that allows the seller to not pay us the commission, and they, the buyer pays us through a buyer premium. So it really, it's perfect for a for sale by owner because it's, 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 it's fulfilling their wishes to not pay a commission. But now what they do is not only do they not pay a commission, they get us to do all the work for them. And we do it through our transparent auction bidding process at 14dayhomeauction.com. Transparent bidding and the buyer premium is paid from the buyer. Because let's face it, the, uh, the for sale by owner does want professional help, just doesn't want to pay the professional dollars. So right. as a professional, you found a way to make that happen. Correct, you window. Right? I mean, you can't, it, there is no other competition out there if you have a for sale by owner when they say, I don't want to pay a commission. You're like, fine, if I can uh, sell your home, you don't have to pay me anything so out, of, out of your pocket. Do you still want to list with me? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, like, say it, come again? <laughs> say that again? So basically, it's just really this. It's like, it's really simple. Do you mind if the buyer pays me? And they never have a problem with it. And now they're like, oh, yeah, I love agents again because they're not paying a commission. But if they, they don't like us right now because all the agents do is call them and hammer, you need to pay a commission. And this is why you're going to get sued and you're not going to get the best service. You're, don't pay a commission. List with me and don't pay a commission, Mr. Seller. Fear. Just as long as you're paying the buyer premium. Buyer. It's wonderful. Fear, 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 fear. If you well, spread the fear, it's not, it doesn't work. I mean, you can, you can strong arm them after a while. I'm sure they get fed up with trying to do the whole for sale process. It's a process. I mean, that's why you hire a realtor because it is a process to get that home sold. Um, but, you know, saving them time and money, whew, that's exactly what we want to be doing. Well, you know what it is? It's, it's, it's a very simple process. It's a very simple script that I use, guys. It's uh, hello, Mr. or Mrs. For Sale by Owner. My name is Robert Weichelt. I have a buyer potentially in the, looking in the area. Are you willing to pay the standard 3% commission? Okay. A lot of times they come back and say, well, I'll pay you 2.5%. Well, if they pay 2.5%, I'm fine with that because I'll take a listing for 2.5%. And knowing that they don't want to pay anything else, I'll do a buyer premium for my commission. Perfect deal. It Perfect deal. Awesome. Well, tell me a little bit about uh, this new venture you're getting into. So you're going to start doing podcasting, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Tell me a little bit about what brought that along and, and what, what are your thoughts so far? Well, I'll tell you 1,000% why I decided I wanted to do it. When I was a guest in your home studio, uh, at your, when I was with you guys, I just, that inspired me so much because it was the, the back and forth, the camaraderie, the interview process, the value that you can create visually. Uh, it, it, you, you had me sold and you weren't even selling anything. I <laughs> love what you guys are doing. You're, you're, 
the way you're disseminating the information out to the folks that are, you know, your listening audience, the way you engage with everybody that's viewing, it, you just inspired me so much. I mean, podcasting is not something that's new, but when I sat down with you guys, I said, whoa, that I have to do this. I have to find a medium where I can get out and, and share that. I can introduce, you know, restaurant owners to come on in the studio and, and sit down or even go to them and do a, a live podcast about their, their business. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm reaching a whole new audience by jumping in and doing that for these people. So instead of the normal way of doing things, I don't know. I just got so inspired when I was in your office. I said, I got to do this. I just don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> I said, go out and buy your microphone and let's go. So what, what, what hiccups have you gotten into when you first got started? Because I know there's a lot of people who are interested in doing podcasting and we're like, we're one of those, go out and do it. You should do it. You should, there, there's enough audience out there for everybody, right? You should be able to go out and do your thing. But uh, a lot of people struggle with either, I don't know what equipment to buy. Uh, you know, I don't know what software to use. I don't know how to upload to stuff. What, what problems did you encounter so far? Well, right now, what we're working with is we, we, we're getting used to uh, the type of equipment. We're, we're, getting, we're getting our, finding our way around that. Um, content isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's more of the editing portion. And you were showing me a little bit about the, the app that when you guys, you can do the different camera angles mm-hmm. and going through Facebook Live and those types of things. So we're still getting, working our way around the, uh, the apps and to, to get the, the nice product out. All right. All right. So did you end up, what, what software did you end up using? If you don't mind me asking, do you even know yet? Or, or you got a producer uh, for that, right? Not to know. Hold on. What are we using? Premiere Pro? Premiere Pro. He's running through a focus, right? See, I'm perfect. I, I'm the, I'm the guy like a radio host. I'll come in and give you the great content. Uh, I tell this to everybody. Don't tell me how the clock was built. Just tell me what time it is. I'm the guy going to come in and tell you what time it is. These guys are going to be the ones building the clock. That yeah. No, that totally makes sense. I mean, I got my producer in the background. You, you always see, you always hear James at the beginning. You hear James at the end. You rarely hear him during the show, uh, unless we're doing a show, him and I. And even when we're doing a show, him and I, he likes for, he prefers for me to just kind of talk and do my thing. And then every once in a while, he'll, he'll jump in. So no, I know exactly what you mean. I have to jump in and remind you, drunkquote.net. Oh, that's right. See, if it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for the clock guy in the back, I would forget. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, real quick. Remember, if you're ever thinking of doing solar, if you're a real estate professional, you're a mortgage professional, and you have a client that says, hey, I'm thinking about doing solar, the first thing you should think of is dronequote.net. They are the ones who come out to your home. They'll bring a drone so that nobody's climbing on your roof. Take pictures of your of your rooftop. Take all the measurements. Send them out to roofing contractors. Send them out to um, solar contractors, and then you sit back as the buyer and just look at a bunch of bids and decide which one works for you. That's the way you want to get things done. You don't want to be sitting in front of presentation after presentation after presentation. We don't want to do that as listing agents. We don't want to do that as solar clients. Dronecode.net makes it easy for you guys to just shop solar the way it's meant to be shopped. Put those solar panels on the roof, get your electric bill down, enjoy that AC without even having to worry about it. The heat is, should come from the outside, not from the pressure of buying solar. Dronequotes.net forward slash business bros. That's where you got to go. See, producer reminds me. I like what you did there. That was nice. Oh, you got a studio audience. They're all going, that's awesome. They're writing that down. They're like behind me. They're, there's a whole group of people behind me. They're going, oh, that's awesome. I'm writing that down. Heck yeah, it makes it easy. Nobody wants to sit in front of, a, you know, in front of, don't get me wrong. The salespeople are, are great people, but it's still an hour to two hour presentation when you finally get the quote out. And then you feel guilty because you got to tell them, sorry, I got to get more quotes. You know, like that's, that's a process. Like it shouldn't be uncomfortable to, to buy and sell anything. Yeah. I mean, you know. Mr. and Mrs. Fizbo, <laughs> let's make it super easy. Let me just show up for 15, 20 minutes. Thank God for HGTV because they all think they can sell their homes themselves, which I think most of them probably can. But we're going to bolt on a, you know, show, we can control when their home is shown. I mean, there's no getting the kids ready. There's no, you know, making sure the home is cleaned. I had a client that he steam cleaned his hardwood floors before every showing. How, what a nightmare that is. Yeah. We don't do any of that. We just do a one-day open house. It's beautiful. 
done tons of people have you seen the uh the uh get the uh yeah, alexa skill uh uh, uh, uh what, what, what's her name again ariana uh uh you're talking about brie brie, brie yeah I saw, I saw that you and you guys are talking about that uh, uh alexis yeah, I mean, I was just thinking, you know, you got a lot of people at those open houses because your open houses get packed. You're talking about, you know, 100, 200 people that show up to these open houses. Yeah. And it might be nice to have that Alexa skill. 300, see even yeah, more. 300 people, over 300. We stopped counting up to 300. We had literally people coming from all directions. It literally felt like they were parachuting out of the sky. It was nuts. We had 52 people actually sign in, name, address, phone number. We had 15 approval, approvals, fully approved buyers from that one open house. That's amazing. It was, it was awesome. That's, that's type of, and I don't know how you man that kind of open house. That's got to be crazy. So I was like, you should have that Alexa set up and let her ask, answer some questions for your clients while they're there. <laughs> I know. I'm definitely going to reach out to Brie. She's a, a good friend of the family. I know her well. well. Yeah, they got a, they got an awesome product. All right, let's get back to your podcast. So uh, I, I I understood some of the stuff that you're using as far as the back background information. Um, what have you been thinking about in developing your content? How frequent are you going to end up doing your podcast? You know, I was thinking uh, my goal was maybe like a, I think it should be consistent. I think I was thinking every Friday or maybe even every Wednesday, call it a White Kelt Wednesday kind of theme. Ooh, perfect. I, uh, I used to do a White Kelt Wednesday uh, real estate mixer for the public. We were getting near between 100 and 150 people to our mixers. But I was thinking more of a podcast is kind of go with the White Kelt Wednesday, uh, market updates, community updates, you know, just what's the, what's the latest and greatest in, in life? What's going on now? Live, work, play. You know, what's happening? You can see it right here. I'm all about the live, work, play. Um, you know, what's, I'm a community. Just promote the community. And whether it be a restaurant, a dry cleaner, a, a new nail shop, a liquor store, a, a whatever, just promote my community. Because I'm so proud to live in the community I'm in. I want to be able to promote that in, the, you know, kind of a chamber of commerce kind of way. Why don't you do both? Hmm. I mean, you're, you're a big proponent on, I'm doing this in 14 days. Our open houses are like no others. We draw a crowd. Um, you know, you want to promote the, the community. Why don't you make it kind of like a live event where you do your podcast, you interview the restaurant owner, whoever you're going to be at. You do have guests, you know, everybody's there to do the whole uh, happy hour, whatever it's going to be, but it's also a live event. Then you can have like some Q and a session. Oh, if you like cool. people have questions and it's just like once a week, you do this one event and people enjoy your podcast a, um, because it's fun content. They show up to the live because it's a great event and good atmosphere to be in. And, and you're getting extra pieces of content that you wouldn't even consider questions yeah. from people and stuff. That's actually a really cool idea. Almost like the, uh, the radio DJs live at an event. It just makes it fun. You can, I mean, I can have guests come up and, you know, hey, come on in there with Robert Whitehill. We're going to talk yeah. about the community. Oh, hey, you're the barber down the street. Come over here. Let's talk about what's going on in your world. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. And I mean, if you think of it from a social media standpoint, for example, right? Um, you know, one of the things that we've had success in our, in, in our podcast is building our Facebook following. And it took a while. It was one of those things where, you know, we didn't exactly know how to do the whole Facebook thing. And, you know, we set up a, a business page and that started working a little bit. But once we got into, you know, once we, I went to be a guest on another podcast and the way they had it set up was every time somebody comes over, you know, invite them to be a get to, to your business page and have them invite their friends. So when you go live, they all see it. Right. And, and we started doing that and our, and our, our, our expansion grew. And I'm thinking if you're doing an event like that, wouldn't it be awesome if part of the event was, Hey guys, let's be on our Facebook live. Let's get as many lives as possible. Go on this, you know, have them follow steps and then like do at the beginning of the show, we're live on, you know, and you have like, I don't know, 20 people. They're all live pointing their own cameras. Kind of like, you know, when you go to a concert and you have that light up, everybody's lighting up their lights. Like, yeah. I think that would be a cool thing. Oh, like great. just to bring everybody together to have that, that camaraderie at that one event at your type of thing. And your, uh, your, your Facebook following grows. You can do the same thing when you go, you can go live on YouTube, build your YouTube following that way. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm like, I'm just, you know, brainstorming here of different things that oh, we can do. I, help your podcast grow. Is, you're thinking, I got Chris right here taking copious notes. <laughs> going, I can't wait to jump on this thing. He's not here. He's over there somewhere. But this is, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted to do. And I never thought in a million years to come in and do it on a Facebook Live, but this is great. So if anyone's trying to do a podcast, 
this is how you start. You got to start somewhere, man. Yeah, you, you I, I truly believe this. this. I was so inspired by, like I said, when I was with you guys live in studio, it was such an inspiration. You guys are doing amazing things with your shoes and your your, your business bros. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're bringing fun back to life, man. You know, my whole goal is to bring fun back to real estate. And that's what we're doing. We're having so much fun. And I, I think that's a, a good way to get that message out is through the podcasting. So I'm a big, I'm, I'm so excited for your, for your assistance on this, man. This is great. Yeah. Man. And, and that's one of those things that uh, for me, it's, it's been, if I ever had a question, I didn't have anybody I could really go to, you know, I didn't know anybody that was really podcasting. I listened to podcasts, but I, I couldn't pick up the phone and go, Hey, Joe Rogan, you know, Hey, can you help me out with my podcast? Like you got any suggestions, ideas, you know, I, I couldn't do that. <clears throat> so for, for anybody I hear that's trying to start something, when it comes to the podcast where I'm like, we're an open book. I'll, I'm, I'll tell you right now, we're not the best in the industry. We don't have all the greatest gadgets and tools, but I'll tell you how we're doing it. And I'll tell you what's worked for us. And I'll tell you what, you know, what didn't work for us so well. And, you know, and I'll be here to support you every step of the way. Cause I, I'm like you, I like to see other people succeed too. I want to be here to help you grow. I mean, that's, that's my why I want to help you become a better you. So you find purpose and happiness in your life. That's my why in one sentence. Right. And so, you know, yeah. if, if it well, doesn't matter clear. what it is, Crystal clear, man. Yeah, that's uh, you can tell. And uh, you you guys are just, that's why we reached out to you. Cause I think that uh, I think it's a great medium to get the, the word out and there's nobody in the million years who I'd even think of turning to. And that's why we reached out to you, brother. Well, when you finally do do your, your first one, I mean, let me know because I, I don't know if we'll be there for the first one. I don't know. It's always the scheduling issues, but I want to be there, especially if you start doing those major events. I think they'd be so cool to walk into something and it's just, it's that vibe, you know what I mean? That feeling. I, I think I, I am, in my mind, I'm picturing like, like uh, man versus food. You ever watch that show? Right? No. Uh, all right. So I caught an episode or two, but the guy takes on like, you know, some ridiculously massive burger, or I don't know, some, you know, massive thing. And so he's over there like trying to eat this thing in a scheduled amount of time and everybody's around him, like cheering him on. Yeah, go. And that's kind of the visual that I had. Yeah. And that's kind of the visual I had. I mean, you're not tackling a big meal, but you're hosting an event. Right. And so you have that energy guys on. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that you feed off that energy. I mean, I, I know when the mic comes on, there's always a, a little extra energy that happens on every single show. Like uh, yesterday, for example, I was tired, man. I was, my body was beat from going to the gym in the, early in the morning. James was tired. He came over. He like laid down on my bed, had like a five minute power nap before we got started. But when the mic comes on, like our energy level goes up and we're back to, you know, we're back to normal. And then after the show, we're good to go. And we're, you know, we've got that energy. We can keep going for the rest of the day. But you having that energy when the mic comes on is one thing. The other thing is when you have people around you, you feed off their energy. And I think, I think oh, yeah, that's why I like the live trainings. I really enjoy the, the live auction trainings, our 14 day home auction trainings. We're, we're all over Southern California. We're in, we're in Orange County. We're in Temecula next week. We're in Mission Valley. We're, we're all over Southern California and I, I thrive off the live in studio audience and maybe we can do some kind of where it's a, a live podcast slash live training. I mean, who knows? We could have just so much fun. It can go so many directions. Oh yeah. I think I, I would love to like, I don't know, man. Like my mind just goes like creative crazy right here. I'm like, dude, wouldn't yeah. it be cool? Like we're at a, we're at an event, we're at an open house. And then, you know, Robert's doing his thing at his open house and maybe we show up and like start interviewing clients that come over, you know, like, what do you think of the home? Like, what do you think of the auction and it's just customer, you know, like reactions to the whole thing. I think that, you know, stuff like that is really awesome. You're engaging with, with the people who maybe didn't even know your podcast existed. Because let's be honest, our podcast is more of a, you know, if you're a realtor, if you're a mortgage person, if you're insurance, you've probably heard of it, maybe. And, but the general public, probably not so much, right? But anybody, you stick a mic in their face <laughs> and you say, hey, you want to be on a podcast? They're almost all going to say, yeah. And it would yeah. be cool to get that kind of inside information about, what people think of when they go to these open houses, when there's 300 people here, when they're waiting in line to see a bedroom, you know, you know when they're waiting in line to walk into a kitchen, what are they thinking? What's going through their head? You know what I mean? What about the neighbors? They're, they're, they, the neighbors have got to be so impressed with how many cars are upset, right? How many cars show up to see this home. They're like, who the heck is this realtor here? And to get that kind of you know, re recorded documentation of this stuff happening. Because it's one thing to tell somebody, 
it's another thing to show them. You know yeah. what I mean? And when you show people, like, this is what's going on. This is, there's swarms of people. This is what the people are saying. Now the podcast has a little bit more meaning. Now it's documentation. And it, it can repurpose everything that you do. You can repurpose that stuff. So that's why the podcast is A, you know, audio, and then B, video. So you can repurpose all this. You take your editors, your producing team, and you're like, hey, we just recorded, you know, 45 minutes, an hour worth of content. And each one of those 45 minute hour worth of content, there's like, I don't know, 10, 10 second, 60 second, 30 second clips that either you can do a little highlight video for the client. Hey, this was the whole process. They turn around and share it with their friends and family. You know, it's, it's, it, I think it just goes hand in hand with everything that you're doing more and more exposure. Well, you know what? The good news is on the open houses, <clears throat> just pick a Sunday, any Sunday, because we have auction open houses every single Sunday and sometimes two and three, four a weekend. So we're, uh, there's no shortage of auction open houses and there's no shortage of red carpet with people down the street. So it's, uh, it's, it's an amazing thing. And I look forward to, to having you guys come and do that. And uh, that's actually really would be kind of awesome. Have almost like the check-in desk as a live podcast. I mean, oh, you could do so many things. This would be great. Yeah, you're, just, you're just opening the door to, to the possibility of creativity. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for you. And I mean, we haven't even recorded your first one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what's going to be fun? We, uh, you know, what's funny is we, uh, the auction platform, typically what we do is we list it on a Monday. We don't do any showings until Sunday. Sunday, the open house starts at 12 o'clock. That's when the auction process starts. Then we have people checking in, registering, bidding, getting pre-approved. And the auction bidding stops after everyone's approved and the ends on Friday night at six o'clock. What we did is we went to the seller's house and did a live auction watching party. So we're up on the screen, watching the screen on the big screen in the house. We have beer and wine and cheese and crackers and the whole thing, a bunch of agents, a bunch of potential sellers. You know, my wife and I are sitting there. We're like, oh my God, I don't know what to expect. I've got the sellers anxious because they're getting bid on and the first bid comes in. The second bid, the third bid, the fourth bid, the 10th bid. We had 21 bids when it was all said and done. And it was like, it kept extending. See, once the bid stops, you know, once the, once the, the, the auction's getting ready to end, if somebody comes in within the last five minutes, it extends it another 10 and then notifies all the other buyers, hey, you've just been outbid and you have another 10 minutes to rebid. So we're there refreshing the computer. I posted it on Facebook. It is the most amazing thing ever. I have my sellers right next to me. We're cheering, popping bottles of champagne and the sellers were out of their minds stoked. I mean, it was, ah, oh, it was awesome. An auction watching party. When have you ever had an auction watching party when someone's selling someone's house? Never. It was so much fun. Never. And I love the transparency in, in that because think of it from the buyer's point of view too. The buyer's like, you know, I submit an offer and, and then I wait. And I don't know anything really until maybe I follow up with my, yeah, yeah there's, there's no answer there. This is clear cut. Like I'm going to put an offer and boop, there it is on the screen. It appears I got outbid. Dang. You want to go a little higher? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay. Let's do it again. Boop. You know, from both sides, there's so much excitement. I think it would yeah. be kind of cool to, to even document like, you know, that sort of thing. You can have both sides. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm going crazy with the, with the thought process, but it'd be kind of cool. Just like you did the whole Facebook thing. But imagine now you take that whole concept and you have it like, um, I don't know, like, like a fantasy football draft day type feeling, you know what I mean? And everybody's yeah. there and you're cutting, you, you, you have your producers cut something up and something that, you know, can normally take an hour is now condensed to like, you know, a minute, two minutes, three minutes. And it's just full of excitement. It's got the energy. It's got the sound. It's got the music. Now you got great marketing pieces just yeah. because you're documenting what you're doing. Send that out to your for sale by owners. Exactly. Excitement. Do you want this kind of excitement in your home within a 14 day period going to escrow? Boom. It is wonderful. Oh, not just that. Um, you don't got to pay us. <laughs> you know, you know, by the way, you don't have a problem, right? Yeah. Thanks, Dude. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Of course. Where do I sign? Right. That's yeah. always going to be the, it's the actually, thing. It's been very, very uh, amazing. I literally have six for sale by owner appointments tomorrow on Saturday. One back three in El Cajon, one in Rancho Bernardo and one in Carlsbad. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's, this is taking a life of its own. It's amazing. 
It is. It is. And I'm and and, uh, and then speaking of the brokerage, real quick, um, EXP's been blowing up too. I've seen in my own Facebook feed some major names rolling their way over. And I keep saying, you know, pop their thing to do. A lot of the, a lot of people are starting to go off like a light bulb going, what am I thinking? I need to get there now. And you and I both know the power of it, but it's neat watching people that you know and know they're, they're very, very influential in the business, seeing them come over. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a light bulb lighting up this whole town. And it's, uh, it's, it's a, it's a very, I'm glad to be a part of this. It's been, it's been epic. All right. I want to give some last little minute advice about, uh, about podcasting. Um, when you get started, I suggest you, you record some, uh, short little promo to get started. Um, something like, uh, I don't know where you're introducing yourself for a few minutes. And the reason being is I don't know how you're going to end up hosting this, whether you're going to go to something like libsyn.com to, to host it, or you can go to anchor FM to host it. Um, but either way, whichever one you do, when you initially set up, you have to have something to post, right? Yeah. So have something recorded. It doesn't have to be anything long. It doesn't have to be an exact show. It could just be an intro. Like, Hey guys, I'm about to launch our podcast. It's going to be our first episode is going to be here on this day. Make sure you guys check it out. This is what it includes. This is what we're going to be talking about. Live, work, play. This is what we're all about with the white Kelp EXP group and you know, whatever it's going to be, whatever you want to, you know, put in there, but just make it a little snippet. So you have it. So you're ready prepared. And then wherever you end up doing, whether you create your own website and you host all your stuff, whether you use somebody, uh, some other hosting program, you have that already set up. Did, did you, did you decide on a name? Cause I think if you name it, the, the white cat Wednesday, you're going to pigeon told your pigeonhole yourself to, uh, to Wednesdays. Well, yeah, that's, that's the only thing I keep thinking about is maybe do we do two podcasts? Do we do, you know, the community, type of thing do we do live work play i mean we don't have a, a name for it yet uh, the only thing that came to mind is because white Kelp wednesday is something we've already been doing you know through the bars and restaurants and, and, and community networking uh, but i don't want to pigeonhole myself into just wednesdays um so we we don't you know i'm open for suggestions you know right now it's just market update or who knows community update well i'll share i'll share the story because um when we started we uh we were literally doing it as the application came in. It's one of, it's one of those things where like you know what's the first question? What is the name of your podcast? Hey James, we need the name of our podcast. I don't know. We're 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 in business together. We're brothers. Let's call it Business Bros. Boom, and that's that was literally the extent of thinking of how long Business Bros. Business Bros. That came that came a few episodes in with a couple beers, but <laughs> but um in hindsight. We should have called it the See Us First podcast. Our website is See Us First, and it was initially where we wanted to go with it. When when we wrote it down, when you if you see ever see our uh, our very first logo where it's our we're making like funny faces, it says Business Bros across the top and says a See Us First podcast. And so you know, I, in in hindsight now, it's like I know James is my producer, but he doesn't really want to be the face of it. And so how do we make it, you know, how do I make it more of my own? Now I'm going to be a business bro because I've spent so much time branding a business bro when I could have been branding my own last name. So what I might yeah. suggest for you is maybe you call it, you know, Robert White Help show. And then at that point, wherever you go in your world, you've branded yourself. You're going to be the host of your show. Yeah. So it doesn't matter whether you do, you know, you can, you can have a White Help Wednesday segment. How you about can White have Health a, World? Why Kilt's world? That's pretty good too, right? Yeah. But but at that point, you're branding yourself. You're you're creating. You're going to be consistent in creating your content. So it's going to be about you and what you decide to talk about. Later, you might want to do an interview type base where you're just doing it that all the time. Maybe it's you know maybe you want to do open house Fridays or open house Sundays or whatever you want to. However, segment pieces you want to create is fine. But you're branding your your podcast with your name on it. No, I think that makes perfect sense. Um, and not to change the subject, but you might be able to help me with this. See how my last name is mirrored? There's a way that I can turn it around so it's not mirrored. Like what you have, mm -hmm. you have a screen where it's you can actually see it, whereas mine's reversed. Do you know how to do that on the on Zoom? <laughs> when, From my, when we're yep. watching it on live and uh, what we're looking at, it's not backwards. Correct. Oh, so it's not backwards to you? It's not Correct. backwards to me. So if I made it backwards to me, it's back. <laughs> yeah. I was curious. It was like, and I keep looking at going, well, that's probably one thing I wanted to start like right away is fix that. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. It's mirrored. What's going on here? No, no. Uh, it's mirrored. Awesome. I think it's mirrored to you just because of the way you're looking at it on your screen. And but okay. you know what? That's that's some good advice. Um, actually, listen to and watch your stuff initially. When we first started, I would listen to every single episode we recorded when it posted to iTunes. I would listen to it, and one of the main reasons is. I say the same word over. I was, I had a lot of ums. We had a lot of okays. We had, a, you know, you just don't hear those little nuances that you have from yourself until you actually hear yourself talk. And then not just that you hear things like, dang, Oh, you know what? I should have mentioned this or I should have dropped. I should have, <laughs> James gets a kiss. <laughs> you should have seen this. But don't worry. Facebook didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. Facebook didn't see it, but we saw it. <laughs> so that's funny. Cause she was like, can they see me? Can they see me? I'm like, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you guys saw it. The Facebook didn't. Facebook didn't see oh, it, but we saw okay. it. Facebook at home going, what are those guys doing? <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I, I lost my train of thought. See? Thanks, Vanessa. Oh. <laughs> no, but the, uh, listen to your podcast and doing all that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Listening to your own stuff, at least for the, at, at the beginning, to get a better grasp of your own little nuances. So you, you, you think about, you know, I should have tried, probably addressed it this way. Maybe I should have change my sentence structure this way. My intro, I probably could have added this. You know, you start to hear yourself. Um, I'm the type of person who can, I feel that when people are talking, I complete their sentences for them. When they struggle, I'm, I'm always the one who, you know, today I'm going to eat, what are you going to eat, a sandwich? Buffalo, buffalo fries? What are, you, what are you, like, I complete their sentences, sometimes right, sometimes incorrectly, but it's a habit that I have. It's almost like I cut them off sometimes. Um, but when I listen to myself, I can see like, let them speak like consciously pause for an extra second or two, you know, like, because my mind is working quicker than, than theirs. Cause they're not used to being on the microphone. And when I'm listening to myself, I'm afraid of dead air time, that little quietness. You know, I, I don't want to hear that on the, on the show, but I'm conscious of it. They're not, they're just thinking for a second and there's nothing wrong with that thought process, hey, but it's, you know, those are little things. That's a good point. Because, yeah. That's a really good point. Um, because we're always wanting to have that, that silence filled. People are always thinking about the answer before they hear the whole question. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's, I, I need to learn on that a lot because I, I get a lot of energy and I want to keep going and rocking and rolling. So I need to just like, like James over there. <laughs> I'm an agent, man. Shiny object that gets me all going. Oh, a squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> So, but it, yeah, this is, uh, I look forward to this, man. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Me too. Same here. Robert, thanks for uh, hopping on the show with us. Yeah. I'm, I'm grateful for your guys' time. I'm grateful for what you do. Um, but like I told Chris to reach out to you first is I have a bunch of shoes. I, I know you guys are still doing your shoe drive. Uh, and I just, I just appreciate you both so, so, so very much as just, just good dudes. And I, that means a lot to me. And I'm, I'm happy to be in your world. Thank you. So we feel the same way. Trust me. And again, if you ever need anything and listeners out there, if you guys are thinking of starting a podcast, you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I'll give you my cell number, 619-884-4915 or Hernan at csfirst.com. I usually have our banners, but we don't have them today because we use the webinar feature. So that's something I got to learn to do, by the way. Um, it, but, oh, that's a little, little heads up for you. So Zoom is awesome. But in order for you to do Facebook Live on Zoom, you got to get the webinar version. So web in our version will let you do Facebook live. Otherwise you can do a zoom. You can record it and post it yourself. Um, you can also take the video and post edit and add all the stuff that you want to. Um, if, if that's what you're going to do, but if you want to do the live, you got to do the webinar version. Got it. Note to self. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, our trainings through this platform. We're going to be do, we're trying some new things and new fun things. And, uh, we're trying to maximize our efforts to get the word out as quickly as possible because what we're doing here is, is game changer. It's a oh, game yeah. changer and it's important that we get that word out quickly. Yeah. What you're doing here is going to be the norm. Let's just face it. That's going to be what's going to happen. The transparency issues is, is, is solved. It's just, it's the better way of doing things. You're driving the better car yeah. before yeah. everybody else even knows that their car exists. Yeah. That's that. And that's the goal. And I'm, uh, I'm just grateful for uh, this platform to uh, get get the word out so i appreciate it, boys thank you, you. Awesome, man. you guys are just wonderful 
All right, ladies and gents, just like Robert, if you guys got shoes, 365 pairs is the goal. So if you have new shoes, you shoes, or you want to donate cash, hit James up 619-884-0045 or James at csfirst.com. And remember, for all your solar needs, you're thinking about solar, you need to go to drunkquote.net forward slash business bros. Let them handle it for you. You are a buyer. You want to buy. You don't want to be sold. So stop sitting through all those presentations. Let a drone come, measure your roof, send out the quotes to both roofing contractors and solar companies. You sit back and choose. Let them fight for your business. That's what they're there for. All right, ladies and gents, that's all we got for you guys today. Peace. And we're out. Ooh. You guys are awesome. Bye, Facebook. Later, dude.